and faith leaders make their places of worship and their services easier to attend and understand for people with Alzheimer's and dementia. As KLTV 7's J.D. Conti tells us, it's a question that got answers today from the Alzheimer's Alliance of Smith County. When Rebecca Smith with the Smith County Alzheimer's Alliance holds trainings, she has participants write five things they love on an index card. She then asks participants to rip them up, signifying the loss of memory that can come with dementia. Today she did that exercise with faith leaders in the Smith County area, preparing them to address the issue in their congregations. Those people are going to be attending churches and um, going to synagogues and mosques and lots of different faith communities. So it's really important for people in that community to understand how to communicate with them, how to support them. Leaders learned about the common signs of diseases like Alzheimer's. They also were given suggestions on how to make their places of worship and services more inclusive to those suffering from memory loss. Using older hymns and commonly known scripture can help those suffering from memory loss. Brandon McLean with the First Presbyterian Church in Tyler shared a story from when he was in seminary as a hospice chaplain. He says a woman was suffering terrible memory loss but never lost one song. She got to Amazing Grace and she sang all seven verses and it blew my mind because I wasn't I'm at this point I'm a seminarian I'm not even aware that there's seven verses in Amazing Grace. One speaker was Don Kent a former Tyler lawyer who spoke to clergy on his battle with Lewy body dementia which affects more than one million Americans each year according to the NIH. His message was simple. Get enjoyment and pleasure out of life even though I have a, a disease that will kill me. J.D. Conti, KLTV 7 News. Wise words from Mr. Kent. Leaders from 17 different houses of worship attended today's training. We'll be right back.